What's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a showcase video of two Alpha Legion uh, characters. Basically, one's an Alpha Legion Praetor on the left, obviously, and then a Mark III Alpha Legion uh, Apothecary. So the guy on the left is a limited edition uh, Praetor in Cataphracty armor. These things are kind of rare. You get you get into that situation. I'm not complaining, right? But you get into that situation where people sort of scalp these on eBay. And I've seen this guy new in the box for like 50 quid on eBay. And if you've watched some of my other videos. I hate to complain. I don't like to be like that as a person, but scalping is... It's obviously it's morally wrong, I think. It doesn't stop anybody, and it's not going to stop anybody, and like, so you're complaining for the sake of it, because it's not It's not going to It's not going to do anything. But at the end of the day, like it happens a lot. And some of the, mini the limited edition miniatures are limited edition on, on purpose. Like They deliberately make them rare, or they deliberately only produce a, a limited amount to either justify a higher price, or to give away events, to make them event exclusive, and it just... It's that way on purpose, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Like that's perfectly fine. I think in terms of like the collectible side of the miniatures, that's part of the business plan, and it's really effective. It really works. I'm not complaining about that at all. But it does. Um, it promotes a culture of scalping on eBay and on Facebook and on things like that, where people go to events just to buy stuff. And I'm sure you've, as part of the community of a miniature war game, and I'm, I'm positive that other people have experienced the same sort of stuff. Um, it, I mean, it depends what time you're watching this this video. Um, and again, it depends how I've uploaded them. But there's uh, a Sisters of Battle army box that's just been released. I think it was 125 quid um, from from Games Workshop, and they sold out really quick. They only they deliberately produced a, a small amount, and so the amount was way less than demand, obviously. And then that I'm not bothered about. Like the scarce, the deliberate scarcity is absolutely fine. Making it seem like they're not scarce on purpose is a, is a bit weird because you that's it's on purpose, you know what I mean? Like, I know I keep saying it, but um, but afterwards, I've seen people like putting these sets of army boxes, the Sisters of Battle Army box, on eBay for like two hundred quid and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling again, but the the, the limited edition Praetor is the same. So I managed to find a guy on Facebook who sold it me for like twenty quid. <laughs> so there is an awesome community of people looking out for each other, and that is super cool. So like, thank you to that guy. Really, really nice of him, and there are. 99% of the time people are decent, the community is awesome, people are really cool, they're looking out for each other, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this scalping does my head in. So, uh, this one I used Calf Blue Clear Paint, and I've got some right here. So it's the uh, Calf Blue Clear, the airbrush paint from Citadel. These things, absolutely awesome. Really, really pleased with the way that they came out. So what I did was, um, I primed the miniature in black, and then base coated in Vallejo Model Air Chrome, um, two layers. And then this stuff, I don't know what it is, it goes tacky for a few hours afterwards. With some of the Games Workshop primers, you can um, paint them and then, like in an hour later, they'll be kind of dry. Um, and you can you can paint them almost immediately. I found the best results with the airbrush paints from Vallejo to leave them like 24 hours to, to cure, basically. And I think you're supposed to do that with, with most acrylic paints, especially with the, the primers and stuff. The Games Workshop one you can paint with straight away. Um, well, not straight away, obviously. Like you can leave them a few hours and you can get a good result. But I've always found the best, best results, especially with airbrush paint, with the Vallejo um, Model Air paints, to leave them a long time. And so I left it anyway. I left it an hour, a day, excuse me, and then two layers, Calth Blue Clear, and there you go. Beautiful Alpha Legion. Um, it's a bit dark for Alpha Legion. Like I've seen a lot of people do them much much lighter and uh, I'm, I presume there is a, a different Citadel clear paint that, that would do them well but this looks super cool and then the Apothecary obviously exactly the same um, some nice battle damage uh, we've got the Forge World Legion transfers Alpha Legion transfers um, and then on the cape as well so it's like a chain which is again super super cool uh, big fan of the Forge World transfers, they're absolutely awesome. I really, really like the little, um, you get the banner transfers. And the banner transfers are like little works of art, basically, and they're super cool. I've, I've not actually used any of them. I've got a Blood Angel set, an Iron Hand set, and then this Alpha Legion set um, from various commissions that I've done over the years. And I um, don't think I've ever used any of the banners, really. We should start doing that. Anyway, so that's it. The li li limited edition Praetor, I, just, I went for green. Um, nice, cool, blended green effect. With um, I think it's dark sea blue from Vallejo again, just like a, a really dark green, blue, black colour. 
and blended it up um, to green and then like a yellow edge highlight. So they look super cool. I love the metallic. I've painted a lot of metallic miniatures recently. Oh, and again, the, um, the Forge World Legion transfers there and on the little uh, shoulder shield as well. Super cool. So if you can see the face a little bit, um, I went for Rakarth Flesh to give it like a more a paler colour. I think that really works well with the, the cold blue and the, the chrome. So that's it. You can find more pictures of these on my Instagram, which is uh, Powerhouse Miniatures uh, on Instagram. I think it's just Instagram.com forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures. And I'm, I'm sure if you Google Powerhouse Miniatures, you'll find like all my stuff on there, Facebook and stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I've got a full army of these coming up, so check back um, soon, basically. And I should have um, more and more of these coming up over the next couple of months. Well, I suppose it depends when I'm uploading these videos, but you know what I mean? I'm, I've got more coming. So that's it. Thanks for watching.